My legs are famous now. Oh, I saw that. They completely lost the plot. Let's make these together. Holding hands. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be reacting to Rosie. Rosie, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing her name correct. I know, I'm pretty sure there's like different ways of saying it, like Rosé, Rosie, Rose. Um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna just call her Rosé. Because I think that's what somebody in the comments said that that's mainly what people call her. So I'm gonna be calling her Rosé. Rosé documentary film. A lot of people in the comments were telling me to react to Rosé's documentary film and this was one that was commented so today i'm going to be reacting to this one i'm trying to get through all the members i've done lisa and i've done um jenny which i just came out with this week so if you guys want to watch that it's going to be linked right here or is it here no i think it's here um i did jenny um i'm doing rosie right now or rose um and i have to do jisoo if you guys have a film for Jisoo that you really really want me to watch or it's like the most popular one please leave it in the comments down below but for today we're gonna do Rosé's documentary film yeah let's get right into it excited as I am for all the videos yeah let's just, just get right into it I love Rosé's vibe there's a commercial playing right now I love Rosé's vibe so I'm excited to get into her I wonder if this is gonna be an emotional video um, I feel like the other ones are emotional so I'm guessing this is going to be emotional too. Oops, starting. Some intense music. I have to make this book. Or I, like, you know, I'm never going to leave Korea without making this book. Right. I have subtitles on. I'm going to take them off. Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition. And I oh, Melbourne it. to Sydney. Melbourne to Sydney? And she came through. With her With guitar. Her. She plays the guitar. Little girl from Australia. Mm -hmm. I bet she was such a cute little girl when she was little. Well, I bet all the all the members were cute when they were little. She's, she's the girl from Australia. So she's from Australia. I think I saw that in the comments. I just Not my camera dying right now. We're just gonna keep it going until it dies and then... I'll charge it. I feel like anything, any obstacle um, is breakable. Period. That's such a great mindset to have. Anything you throw at her, she's like, I got this. I got this. Whatever you're dreaming of, enjoy, enjoy dreaming about, about it. it really. Right. Black pink for rose. Black pink for rose. Rosy, rose, rose. Ah. Uh. So her as a kid. Oh my god. Did you audition for YG in Australia? Yes. Like literally, like just an just, open oh. audition. Why'd you do it? Because my dad told me to. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, good. Me, her like, dad snapped. Screaming at the top of my lungs on my piano every night at like 12 a.m. Um, I think he was sick of me, so he just wanted to like get rid of me and just like send me to South Korea to just fulfill my dreams. Yeah, yeah. But that's. It's so funny. Once I grew that's up, so great of him. Me, like, Rosie, like, to be honest. It was really hard for us to like, <laughs> you know, go to bed when you were like singing at the top of your lungs. I think I would sing like Beyonce's "Listen" when I oh. couldn't the notes. Literally me, literally me. I'm a terrible singer, but I used to do that. And I think my dad was like, "Okay, I think she wants to do music." And he asked me, "Do you want to take?" An Imagine having parents that are just like, "My daughter wants to do this. So like, Let's get it done." You know? Like, can I? Like, am I allowed to? Like, but it was it was funny. We love supportive parents. Um, we love them. Yeah, okay. And then my parents had a whole fight about it. Like, mom was worried. But right. at, in the end, they decided to be really, really supportive of it. And I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition. And she go by herself. I when is she, what age was she when she auditioned? Was she really young? Is this her audition?
She's good. I like to play when I didn't. But... Oh. Is this her audition tape? Look me in the eyes. I lived in Australia, not crowded, not crowded, but a country. I sang and played piano guitar alone at home. My father was the one who realized towards music and let me go to the audition before they had enjoyed from my hobbies. Since I kid became more greedy and I lived in time and my passion went through here. That's great. I guess when she went to Korea, she was like, all right, this is, this is what I want. Parents really snapped. My camera is gonna die anytime right now, but I'll just restart it when it does. Look me in the eye. I'm really curious, is this her audition? She sounds good, but she said she was a terrible singer. But this to now, there's a big difference. You could tell that she really worked on her voice. I mean, she trained for five years, so. I want to get a job as a singer. Oh, this is her audition. She's good. Do you remember the first time you met each other? Yeah, we talk yeah. about it all the time. <laughs> Four of us. So Rosie joined us last mm -hmm. in the group. And Rosie came through with her guitar. I don't know. Aussie little... girl. I'm gonna call her Rosie. Girl. <laughs> little girl. It's Rosie Spanish. from that one. She came along and us were just quick and we just so we started funny. singing together I think from that's day the one. We talk about every time somebody <laughs> asks about like best impressions is when I flew all the way from Australia like I brought a guitar and we ended up like jamming till like 5 a.m. Yeah. I don't think we had. cared about what our neighbors <laughs> thought. Oh true. Until sunrise. That was funny. True. Tell me Tom was to stay. I just do. Wow. Imagine being in an elevator with the person that you're going to spend like years and years and years and years with. And like not even knowing it. Like just thinking this is just a regular girl. Ooh. Just think. Just thinking that she's gonna be a regular girl, but she ends up being your best friend. That's. She's a girl from Australia. I'm sorry if you can hear noises. It's my neighbors. Mm. Really good with dates. I'm not, I'm terrible. What of a kind? This voice. Okay, so I just watched Jenny's documentary and she collabed with G-Dragon. Is this a different girl? It sounds like it sounds like Rosie. Good job, thank you. She's always been good. Christian Bart of YG and Girl Crew. Rose.
of black paint. Oh, they must have been so nervous. I would have been pooping my pants. Okay. Thank you for everyone that has been waiting for our debut all this time. It must have been such an exciting but like nervous time. Okay, good things. Oh, was this when they first did their first show? I'm not sure if it's because of the artist. The last one. She felt like she looked awkward on stage. I don't know this song. I need to. I need. Ooh. Oh, I need to react to this. I don't want to look. But it's fine. It's fine. Her vocals are snapping right now. Did they have a comeback stage when they first came out? I don't know how this stuff works, so I'm not I'm not sure. I need to react to all these songs. I feel like I'm cheating. I shouldn't be watching this. I love their outfits. Her red hair. Oh my god. A commercial. Love to see it. Make your coin. Make your coin. It's fine. Her red hair. Her, she's snapping right now. The harmonies. I'm getting a teaser to all the songs I should be reacting to. I love all their looks. They look so great. Her red hair is iconic. Is this this is a do 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 whatever. Ooh, I like the sound of this one. I like how each of their outfits really fits each member. It's not like just like random clothes being put on them. I have to make this work before I... Like, you know, I'm never gonna leave Korea without making this book. Right. She did a lot, you know. So to just give up. The wings. Is this her song? Now if I 
is this a solo song of hers? Like, this dry, like, I was, like, was this in Australia? I like, or newborn? Like, back to Australia without I, making this work. Yeah, I don't know anything about any work, but fight against myself because it was really, really difficult to be honest. You know, being away from family when I was so young, I had never left. I had never slept um, outside of my house for like more than two weeks. Mm. You know, at that age. Yeah. But I had to right. just leave and. Um, what age did she come to in, like, Korea? Like in my blood to do all this. So it was very difficult, but for me, it was more like I have to. I have to make this work before I. Like, you know, I'm never gonna leave Korea without making this work. Right. I think I know I like singing since I was young. But doesn't everyone like singing when they are young? Right. Rather than thinking I was good, I just sang whenever I want. You don't have to be good to sing, you know? You don't have to be a good singer to sing. Every, everybody sings. But it wasn't when I was in Korea. But it was when I was in Korea as a trainee. I decided that it would be my dream job and my passion grew from there. So yeah, it was from there. Right. When it gets serious, then that's when you're like, all right, this is serious. Question: Do the girls like have they dated before? Because I just watched Jenny's and they said that she was with Kai, but have they ever been with anybody else publicly? See, seeing her old video and then seeing this, it's like. She worked so much on her voice. Was this during a concert? Ooh. Scared me. Was this during a concert? Your dreams are It's in Australia. One day I want to perform in my hometown. Oh. Oh. She hasn't performed in her hometown yet? That song? Yeah, coming home is a song about returning home. So she wasn't born in Australia. New Zealand, okay. Or in Australia. She spent a lot of time in Australia. It's my home. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. So pretty. She has such a unique voice. Like, no shade to other K-pop artists, but I feel like a lot of their voices really blend in together and they kind of all sound... I'm not going to say the same, but... I've definitely heard voices that sound similar, but I feel like her voice... I do know other K-pop artists that their voices are very unique. I love unique voices, you know? You don't have to be you don't have to be like doing runs, you don't have to be like belting and stuff, but if you have a unique sounding voice that just like it gets me, I don't know. I was no longer just Oh her name's Roseanne. But I they Shortened it. You did really, really well, and um, I'm very proud.
proud of each and every one of us. Because we went through a lot. Right. <laughs> Jesus face. She's like Coachella. Can I just say, I'm sad Coachella is not happening just because of the outfits. And also, I would love to see who would have been going, like, performing at Coachella. Like, I would love to know. But also the outfits, like the outfits are just... I love just scrolling through Instagram and seeing the outfits. And acting like they, I'm there when I'm not. I love that outfit on her. I... walk around Coachella and like look at all their artists and stuff that must have been fun her voice why do you feel like crying I got emotional oh I just got weirdly emotional Ooh. Like, you know how people say after you go on um, a stage where you feel like you really interacted with the crowd, um, it, it lasts for a long time and it's really addictive. Mm. I totally experienced that this time. So after the show, we drove back to LA and we were at our hotel room and I remember I just had to keep re replaying it over in my head, like again and again. And it was like, that was like the best feeling I've ever felt in my 22 years of existence. It's, it's really, really surreal. Like, it's it's so, like, life-changing. I love the whole experience. It's, like, so beautiful, and everybody is just amazing. Like, everyone in the crowd. It's a party. I feel like K-pop artists don't get the chance to be, like, free and, like, have fun. Well, well eh. you know, they have fun and stuff, but I feel like Coachella is like, it's like a party, you know, like a party party. So I bet she was feeling great. Can I just say it's been a journey with this camera because it keeps dying on me and I have to keep charging it. So if you see a lot of cuts, it's because my camera keeps dying. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get right into it again. I want to react to the Coachella performance, like if they have a full performance. <laughs> Laurent? What does her thingy say? Laurent, oh, say, say Laurent. Is she an ambassador for them? This is like a, a two minute clip of just visuals. I'm okay with it. Saint Laurent. I love that backdrop, like how they have a spotlight on her. Oh, they have like spotlights on a multiple. Wow. Oh, I love her boots. Oh, I love her whole outfit. No. 
close it. So, I'm so normal. I'm such a normal person, um, as um, real as it gets. Um, so, I feel like everybody out there who feels like you're not worth it and cannot get through whatever is um, coming against right, just um, normal people. Your dreams, I feel like believing. I feel like people don't, people don't understand that do. these K-pop artists are just literally normal people. To enjoy like what changes um, them from? Oh, I just spit. Um, what changes them from I when they were? Obstacle. Auditioning, um, training, to when they become an, a K-pop artist. Good. Like, yeah. there's no change. It's exactly. the same person. Sure, they have influence. Sure, everything. But, like, everybody has influence on somebody in their life. I have influence over my little brother. You probably have influence over your bigger, whatever, younger, whatever, your friends, your family. Like, everybody has influence. Everybody, you have to... Take accountability for yourself all the time but we all have we all do that at the same amount if that makes sense like we all have to take accountability for accountability for ourselves just like everybody else she did this in the the video diaries too do they have like emojis that fit each girl because i know bts they have like emojis for everybody do they have that for Blackpink or not? Nah? Is she like a bunny or something? Cause she put the bunny ears on or not? Nah? She's literally stunning. Like stunning. I can't imagine seeing her. Ooh, was that her phone? Oh no. It was a letter. I thought it was her phone. I love her bag. Whoever's singing this song is hitting them notes. I love her outfits. I love I love shirts like that that are like poofy sleeves. They're so cute. I love how they just walk around like with each other, like holding each other's hands. Are these are the fans like definitely please hold that thought wait why is she sorry i couldn't read that that fast there's a chapter we haven't turned the page and left we haven't through all the possible oh no we are here for you forever were the fans like standing on like a like a platform or something? Why would, Why were they so high up? Prepared and edited by Rosie Ahihi. Oh my god, if that's not her name, I'm so sorry. But whoever made this, you literally snapped. Like, this is an amazing video. Thank you to all these fans that made that. It's a great video. It's a, an amazing video. Alright, I think it's done. Yeah, I love these films because they really, they remind me of like a Netflix show. Like something Netflix would put out or something. Um, and the amount of work and dedication that goes into these videos. Like the, the research and everything. Um, if you have any other videos you want me to react to, leave them in the comments down below. And um, I'm sure I'll get to them. I'm writing everything down in my little notebook if you guys want to see. 
I have my little notebook, so if you leave a comment down below, it'll go in the notebook, and I will be reacting to it. This video was a recommendation too, so so yeah, if you leave a comment down below, I will be reacting to it at some point, and I will be reacting to Jisoo's film very soon, so look forward to that. Watch my other ones. I did Lisa, Jenny, now Rose, and I'm going to be doing Jisoo, so if you guys want to go check those out, um, I'll probably put them here or something. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go now, um, like and subscribe. I'm sorry that this this video had so many cuts in it. My camera was dying. I had full memory. My phone is dying. My headphones died. It's just, it was a lot. But we we're, we made it through. We made it through. It's all it's all good in the hood. It's all it's all good. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Links down below where you could follow me. Instagram, Patreon. Um, yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.